Hey everybody, welcome to the Jarvis Sports Studio. Excited to have you guys here today to talk a little bit about the hollow core frames and to walk you through what is necessary to assemble those. Before we get started on the assembly process, just wanna talk a little bit about uh, the design of these frames and why they have these legs on here. Um, you'll notice uh, each of the frames that, that we sell in our DIY kits will have these integrated legs. And what they're designed to do is to sit flat and flush on a table so that you're not required to build a specialty rocker table before you actually build your board itself. That's gonna save you uh, time, cost, and complexity on your build. So, um, you know, we just think it's a great uh, sort of innovation and uh, makes it a little bit more accessible for uh, a wider range of builders. Now, if you can start with uh, the frame kit uh, in a number of different places. You can order these from jarvisboards.com as pre-cut frame kits. We have an in-house CNC machine where we'll perfectly machine all of these sections out for you so that you can jump right in to gluing together and assembling your board. If you don't start there, if you're starting with some of our digital downloadable plans or the printed paper plans, there'll be a couple extra steps that you'll need to do before you get there. With the digital download plans, you'll first want to find a printer that can print the file at full scale. When we send those to you, they're at full scale. Um, you don't need to scale them up or down. That's just gonna throw things off. You'll wanna print them out at full scale. And what that has is a template of each one of these cross sections, as well as a center rib for the frame itself. You wanna trim those out, glue those down to your um, quarter inch uh, ply material that's gonna make up your frame and you'll want to trace or cut those out using either a jigsaw or a bandsaw. It's going to add some time uh, to your build part of the process. So again, you can either start digital downloadable plans. We can send you the paper plans if you can't find a printer um, locally that can print a file that large, or you can just save yourself the time and hassle and order our pre-cut frame kits. Now, when you're assembling these, or if you've ordered some of our pre-cut frame kits or you cut these out yourself, um, there's going to be some tabs that you'll see on here that need to be trimmed off or, or sanded off. That's just how they're stored or, or held together when it comes out of the CNC machine. So first want to trim those off and then do a dry run of test fitting all the pieces together to just make sure they fit together okay. You may need to do a little bit of trimming with the utility knife or something like that, but it should be very minor. Uh, with the frame kit, you'll notice that the center spine uh, comes in separate sections. They'll first need to be butt jointed and glued together. Um, it's relatively straightforward, just butt joint those two together, take a piece of scrap material on either side, a little bit of polyurethane glue or tight bond glue, and clamp those together. Let it fully cure, and that's gonna make a full, long, entire section of your frame. Now, regardless if you're starting with our frame kits or cutting it out yourself, odds are the sheet material that you're using is not gonna be a full, you know, 10 or 11 or 12 foot long. So you're probably gonna have to chop those up and butt joint those together. Now, when you're ready to start assembling this, you'll need a long flat surface. It could be a table, it could be two saw horses that you, you know, clamp down and put some plywood across it and make it sturdy. It's up to you to just build a nice long flat surface. Doesn't have to be as wide as the board itself, just needs to be wide enough for the legs to stand on. Once you have that flat surface, you'll want to draw a line all the way down and make hash marks or cross marks for each one of the cross sections where the rib itself is going to be. That's going to be helpful in the next step once you start gluing it all together. And when you're ready to glue it all together, you'll add a little bit of glue or polyurethane glue in each cross section of the frame and you'll glue that together and uh, clamp it down to the table itself that you're uh, gluing it down on. You'll notice the, you'll want to line up the center spine so that they're perfectly lined up with the line that you've drawn down uh, your table and you'll want each one of the cross sections to line up uh, with the legs on the bottom of the frame kit so that you have a nice square frame uh, that's nicely glued together. In addition, it helps to have a square to use to make sure that each one of those corners is square as well. And when I'm gluing that together, I like to use a, a hot melt glue gun. It works great, it has a short working time so you can glue together or glue down your frame to the table itself. You can come back and add some reinforcing blocks if you need to to sort of screw it down to make it more permanent. But when you're first assembling it, you're, you know, you got glue that you're trying to 
uh, dry time that you're trying to work against for each one of the frame sections so it helps to have that hot melt glue gun to really glue it down to the table, make sure everything's nice and square uh, in a short time period. Once you have that all glued down, um, you're really off to the races. You have your hollow core frame built and set. Let that set overnight or as long as need be for the glue to dry. Uh, and then you're, begin you're ready to, to begin moving on to the next step of adding the wood strips individually to your board itself. I uh, hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out support at jarvisboards.com or in the comment section below. Happy to answer any of your questions. Um, don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be releasing more how-to videos as well as highlighting some of the boards that we're building in our studio. And if you haven't already, download a set of our digital plans at jarvisboards.com, which will get you started building your board, or you can order one of our pre-cut frame kits, also at jarvisboards.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, and until next time, we'll see you on the water.